programs of Saviors of Wildlife. Today we are at the College of African Wildlife Management. As you can see, we're in the program there, we're supposed to plant trees along the coast. And today we're going to have a group known as the Youth Empowerment and Conservation Club, in particular. We're going to work with them in this particular, or the whole program. Welcome and please join us. Beside me is one of the members of Youth Empowerment and Conservation Club. She is going to introduce herself and tell us a little bit about the whole program that is taking place along the college. Welcome. My name is Pamela David. I'm a student from Bachelor Degree Wildlife Management, Year 3, and I'm a member of EEC. We are conducting an activity which involves planting trees, trees around the college. Uh, this is basically for the purpose of conservation and for enhancing ecosystem services due to the increasing global warming in the world right now. Okay, in front of me is another member of Youth Empowerment and Conservation Club. She's also going to introduce herself and tell us a little bit about the plant species that they're planting and what advice does she have to the community living around here. Okay, thank you. My name is Witness Limo. I'm the member of Youth Empowerment Conservation Club at Mweka College. Today we are having the tree planting program around the college and we are planting a tree that is known commonly as the Ashok tree and scientifically known as Polyanthia longifolia. Why exactly is this Polyanthia longifolia? What importance does it have to the community or why are you planting it here? What benefit will it have? Uh, first of all, Polythia longifolia is the tree that is native to India. So here it's an uh, exotic tree species, but it doesn't have any impact to the other uh, plant communities around and it has been planted because of its effectiveness towards alleviating the noise pollution and apart from that this is a total contribution in uh, global management towards the impact of the global warming. Okay. What advice do you have to the community living around the college or what advice do you have to the whole community in the world or other areas where they are not conducting such kind of programs? Oh, my advice is that this is, n is not uh, uh, the concern that this is not supposed to be the concern of a single person. So everyone has to take responsibilities of having, planting the trees around um, every, everywhere, like the, where they are living. The advice that I have to the entire community is that as we are planting trees, this is the part of conservation towards the degraded ecosystem, so they have to do the same. Because considering the importance of it, the environment that has got towards the living of all people around, they should consider it so that they can protect the environment and therefore it will continue to be beneficial to them. Considering the issue of agriculture, which cannot proceed if there is no enough rain and favorable environment. So still with uh, having the trees around, they are going to provide those ecosystem services that we 
need like the rain so even the people who are living at their homes, those who are not at school, they have to realize that this is not the matter of those people who are only studying like we do, but it is the matter of the entire community. What call do you send to the government concerning the whole program of tree planting around the various areas? The call that I have upon the government is that Tanzania is part of the world. So what is happening to the world right now, the global climate change and all the impact that are happening because, because of the human activities like the industrial development and other activities that are done by humans that contribute to the global climate change. So Tanzania should also act actively towards combating all this impact. And we should start by having things like the tree nurseries that the, and the trees shall, can be available to the local communities. And during these important uh, days, global, global conservation days, like, uh, like the environment day that is normally carried out every year at uh, 1st June, the, these trees can be available to the communities and therefore they may get involved actively instead of just being involved passively by listening to what we are doing, but also they have to act actively so that the contribution should, can be huge. One of the leaders of the club, he's going to introduce him, himself and tell us a little bit about the club. Uh, my name is Good Living Samuel Bayona and I'm the information officer of YEC Youth Empowerment and Conservation Club. Uh, actually, we have been doing continuous projects uh, and our projects are basically conservation projects and that is uh, planting trees around our community and going nationally and uh, if God wishes we are going to be planting trees internationally. We started with the uh, uh, district currently we are, do, we, are, we are planting the trees around Mweka community and actually we were planting uh, the trees are, are around the, are along the road. Uh, one side of the road was planted the trees but the other side was left bare. Therefore we thought that it was wise to plant the trees uh, on the other side of the road that was left bare and this time around we are from practicing that project and we have continuous project that we are going to be performing on the future days the national level. Okay, Mr. God Living, why particularly did you decide to start with the ward levels? Why didn't you go straight and start at the district level? That you could have gone to plant in other areas. Why did you start, decide to start with here? Actually, uh, there is a saying that goes by charity begins at home. And I believe you cannot, our, our, our theme is Conserving the, uh, conserving the wildlife, you see. But you cannot start conserving the wildlife, which is almost uh, the area that you don't live. We believe that you can start uh, building the place where you live, and then you can move outside the area that you think you can conserve for the better good of the whole nation. But you start at home first. That's our belief as the club. Thank you. That was one of the leaders, basically the information leader of the Youth Empowerment and Conservation Club. He has told us all about what they've been doing or what the club is doing. It seems like this is not the first program, but it's a just a continuous program that has been taking place. And they've basically, they basically started at the world level, that means at the lowest level ever. And it's a good thing to start with, and I think everybody should practice the same thing. Start with charity at home, then extend it to other areas. Thank you, Mr. Godbib. Thank you. We have come to the end of our program today as we were at the College of African Wildlife Management where various student groups, especially the Youth Empowerment and Conservation Club, have been practicing a project or a program known as tree planting along the college. This is a very important thing as we all know that in the world there are a lot of land uses such as agriculture which enhances deforestation along various areas. That means with these programs of planting trees in various areas we make our world be more green. That means solve various problems such as global warming which is one of the biggest problems in the world right now. And also planting trees will also help us to serve and provide more ecosystem services such as rain and clean air around the area and thus reduce uh, various effects such as the outbreak of various diseases that can be caused by the effect of uh, the global warming and other 
dirty air in the atmosphere. Thank you. You have been with me, your dear presenter, Patricia Sokayag, and welcome again to other programs that will be taking place at other areas and basically other locations. Thank you.